Hello, what's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, happy Wednesday, I guess. It's real nice outside today, 70 degrees over here in New York. And I'm going to talk about wireless networking and uh, wireless networking using airport time capsule and Bluetooth devices. So, if you saw my last video, I talked about basic ESD... ESD um, protocols and basically talked about hardware tools you need to repair MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, and things like that. So if you saw the other video, lesson two, this is lesson three today. Lesson two was about ESD, electrostatic discharge, and hardware tools you need to open up Apple devices because you need because you need special tools to open up those devices. You're not just gonna Assume that you could put whatever, um, you could have whatever screwdriver to open it up and things like that. So for uh, wireless speed, we have airport time capsule. A airport time capsule supports 802.11 AC. And if you know anything about um, wireless capability, and wireless generations and things like that, you will know that there's different types of wireless. There's 802.11A, 802.11B, 802.11G, and 802.11N. And basically, you have 802.11 AC, which is the, which is like the the fastest one out of all of them. And 802.11 AC is usually found on on laptops, found on mobile devices like tablets or cell phones, and also found on other devices depending what kind of device you have. But usually, it's found on wire, on devices that support wireless connectivity. So 802.11 AC is the fastest one you can have at this moment. And uh, airport time capsule supports them. So airport time capsule has beam forming enables Wi-Fi performance to increase dramatically. It's three times faster than 802.11n. It has better coverage and fewer dead spots. So there's no dead spots like if you're going over here to the left with your cell phone and it's dead over here, then in this case you you probably will have signal, but if you're going to a subway train and things like that, you won't have any signal. So it has less dead spots. It's more Wi-Fi bandwidth with for mobile devices. Uh, Airport Time Capsule has two configurations, which basically means it has it has there's two versions of Airport Time Capsule. There's 802.11 AC with three terabytes of hard drive space. Then there's 802.11 AC with two terabytes of hard drive space. So you have one that has two terabytes and one that has three terabytes. So the reason why they have hard drives is because they have uh, they have backup. So you can back up any files you have. And Airport Time Capsule is, is used on Apple and Apple product. It's like an Apple product for Apple machines. So you could. You could use Time Capsule to do a backup on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and any of your any of your computer devices that are Apple, like Mac, uh, MacBook Pro late 2010 or what have you. So, if you have Time Machine on your computer, you, you could be you're able to back it up using Airport Time Capsule. So for Airport Time Capsule, it's like having a switch, a router. And basically, it has security networking on it too. So it has WPA, WPA2 Enterprise. It has MAC address filtering. It has Net Firewall. It has Support Radius Authentication. And it has all these other security protocols. It's time-based access control. And if anyone that does that has taken Network Network Plus, they will know that um, uh, w, WPA2 Enterprise is really strong security. And MAC addressing filtering is to basically grab the, the MAC address of a computer and filter it out and put it put it on the actual switch and things like that. So that's what it is pretty much. So we have our airport time capsule. This is the back of, of airport time capsule basically. So in order for you to have capability of backing up, you must have a 10.7.5 machine or older to run time machine you must you must have a wireless client access point like well, by that I mean you must have like uh, airport wireless capability on your MacBook Pro it features the WAN port USB port and power port 
you see it on the picture, you could tell that you know it has uh, internet ports, it has a USB port, and it has a plug-in for power. And yes, you could connect you could connect this to printers, to iPhones, iPads, and MacBook Pros to AirPort. So that's what that is. And then going to the other side of it, uh, we have a Bluetooth devices. And Bluetooth devices have wireless track. We have wireless trackpad, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and basically these things. If if your MacBook Pro has Bluetooth capability, which could be found in your system preferences, then you could hook it up to uh, to a, a, a wireless keyboard, a wireless mouse, or a wireless trackpad. It has to have Bluetooth capability in order for you to do that. Plus, in some case, plus in most cases, they come with batteries, so. You gotta put batteries on them, and if you go to system preferences, and when you add the when you add the the keyboard or trackpad, it tells you how much battery it has and things like that. So for the sake of this video, I want to show you what uh, what Time Machine is and how it looks like and things like that. I want to just show you just what what it looks like in general and what what it does and things like that. So. This is gonna. This is our. My, this is my lesson three video, and tomorrow, tomorrow I will be talking about uh, troubleshooting troubleshooting Mac OS X using software programs. In case you have an issue with your MacBook Pro, or your MacBook Air, I I'm gonna make a video on how to troubleshoot it using software programs. That'll be my fourth video. So I'm just waiting for this to boot up. There we go. Put my password in. So, in order for you to get to Time Machine, it's very important that you understand the operating system or Mac OS X. If you're a technician or you're a beginner or you're trying to back up your files, so we have our Apple logo over here. And in order for you to get into Time Machine, you have two ways of getting into it. You can either use Spotlight and type Time Machine. It should come up. And you press Enter. Or you can go to System Preferences over here. And just click on Time Machine. And if you want to back anything up, you have right here the option. You select Backup Disk. And it tells you if you want to use airport time capsule to back it up. Usually if you have an external hard drive. If you have a hard drive. Well, this is this is a hard drive for a laptop. But if you have a, an external hard drive, like a Toshiba external hard drive, Western Digital external hard drive, then you could back up, you could do a backup of your computer. And it says here um, hourly backups for the past 24 hours, daily backups for the past month. Weekly backups for the previous month, and the oldest backups are deleted when the disk it becomes full. And you could add, you could exclude items here that you don't want to back up on this because it, it's going to back everything up. So you could exclude items you, if you want to back up applications or documents and things like that. I'm just going to cancel that. And that pretty much concludes my video. Um, if you have any questions, just send me an email. Uh, like always, rate, comment, rate, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. And hope to see you for lesson number four. Take care. Bye. Bye now.